Hi folks, another Sony Vegas tutorial and this time on keeping your project organized. As, as your edit gets bigger, it may have multiple cameras, it may have quite a lot of different tracks, things can become hard to keep an eye out. Let's make out that we have our main camera footage, we also have some GoPro footage and we also have some DSLR footage. Sometimes the GoPro's white balance is a little different. I want to put it all on its own track. DSLR, I'm going to put it, that all on its own track too. I've got a couple of clips here on our main track. We'll come to the end of it. But we want to create new tracks. You notice how I've double clicked on these ones track name and named them video and audio. That for me, that's just the way I organize things. That's my baseline. That's my main video camera. I want to add some more tracks. Control Shift Q above my previous track adds a new track. I'm going to double click in here and we'll call this my GoPro track. We know we're going to have one more. Control Shift Q again adds another one. Double click in here. Any footage from the DSLR will go in here. Now we've only added video track, but as we drop our footage in, it will add its own audio track to each of these. Up here, you'll notice in my media bins, by default, they come with audio, video and stills. But under media, media bins, you'll see I've got GoPro and DSLR as well. You can add as many as you like by right-clicking media bin, and it'll present you with create new bin. Just click on that, give it a name, and you then have these extras, as many as you want. That keeps your footage, your ingested footage separate as well, so you can see what's where without searching through everything mixed up, which can get pretty confusing pretty quickly. What do we want? We're going to make our GoPro track the active track. Cursor's at the end. Go into my GoPro bin. Uh, double click in the trimmer. I'll select a little piece of footage. A bit of flame. And you'll notice as I drop it onto there by clicking the A key, it'll add its audio track automatically. So we're in the right area. Bang. We've added without doing anything, it's added its own audio and track. The next piece I wanted was from DSLR. Double click on the media bin. It opens the track. Drop it into the trimmer. And make a little selection. Activate the right track, of course. So move along here, click. So we've now activated the DSLR track. Hit the A key again. Again, we've dropped in our media and our audio. Our timeline is growing, and that's the other reason for having this organized, because we've now got quite a bit of stuff there. And without labeling these things, we can start to get confused with it. You might also want to have your company logo as a bug in the bottom corner. So Control shift q again, we've added a new track, and I just label mine bug, you can call yours whatever you like. Go on to media generators. Choose the one you like to use. Placement, where do we want to put it? While that's sitting there, we go up here and put our grid in place. The reason for that, we've got action safe out here and title safe in here. We want to position that bug just down inside the box. Now, by moving that around, I can make sure it's just in what's termed legal. And we want that on the entire video, so we just stretch it for the length of the entire video. You don't have to have those guides there for the rest of the time, I just use them for positioning. The rest of the time they get quite annoying actually, so click them on and off there. So that keeps your project a bit more organized. A quick Sony Vegas tutorial on organizing your project. Thanks for watching.